welcome back to the channel and today we are looking at the SGS strimmer with the Oregon mulch blade. Now this is awesome for clearing anything. Well, it's pretty good with brambles. This is what it's been used with here. So the SGS strimmer does come with, I think it's a tri-blade, but I just went and bought this Oregon mulch blade, 10 pounds off Amazon, link in the description. And uh, yeah, connected it up to this SGS and um, this strimmer is quite a hefty tool. It's uh, 52 cc, so it does power the uh, mulch blade really well. And uh, I've been doing, I think I've done about 250 meters so far, maybe 300. So I'm just on the final side of this paddock to do. And uh, what I do, I just run a, a tank of fuel until it's empty and then that's it. I, I could have got the whole job done probably in a day, but I decided to uh, pace myself and I just do it when I want to do it. So um, yeah, got the uh, two stroke mix going. Uh, it's all pretty simple stuff in the bottle. Uh, the handlebars and the harness are pretty good on this. They um, help a lot. Uh, this one's not the professional one, they do a professional one with the anti-vibration stuff built in, but this hasn't got it, and to be honest, it's not that bad with this blade vibration, so. But yeah, so, health and safety, got my uh, safety wellies, and I've got my hat. You do need a hat, um, I wear glasses as well, so, but you do need to wear something over your face, because I've had bits of wood hit me on the neck and it, it stings. So, um, and of course, ear defenders. So this is it. Uh, it's hard to see in the distance, but basically lower than the tree line, there's loads of brambles. This is a bit that I've done already. Ignore the hedge, that was done with a tractor. But if you look at the, uh, the border, you can, see, um, you can see some bits of wood. Um, but yeah, they're the brambles there. So they're quite deep, a few meters deep. Uh, they just go all along and they're just horrible. So we need to take them out. Uh, what's to say about this? Now, this bit here is a bit I did probably about three to four weeks ago, and you can see mulch it just smashes everything to bits. So there's no material to take away. There's no kind of there's a couple of straggly bits, but on the whole, it will just smash everything to tiny pieces, and then you just leave it in situ, and it just disappears. The magic fairies come overnight and take it all away. So there we go. This is the job. It goes on and on and on, and it's it's quite good using a strimmer or brush cutter because you don't obviously have heavy machinery in tractors with putting kind of um, tracks in the grass and stuff. So yeah, yes, yes. Uh, it's not too bad a starter. It's quite um, quite a good pull you need to give it to get it going. I guess it's 52 cc. I, I don't know. So. I let it warm up a little bit and then I just bash it to bits really. I try not to hold the throttle on full revs um, all the time. I kind of like rev it up when it's um, cutting and then let go as I pull the, um, the bar back up as it were and lift the blade. On the grass, I go sideways at the grass. It seems to cut better that way. Um, but everything else is basically an up and down movement. Um, so you're not supposed, memory serves me right you're not supposed to raise these things too high because obviously if things fly off or things like break um it's in your um eyesight the line of sight sorry so yeah you want to keep it fairly low but it's a beast it's a bit of a combination and both of these is ridiculous i haven't even i said earlier i haven't even connected up the tri-blade but this thing is just when you're doing it you don't feel as if you're getting very far I've speeded it up in this film because it gets a bit boring just watching me just going at it. But once you've gone for your fuel, the tank of fuel and you walk away and you look and see what you've done, it's quite sort of weird to believe you've done that with just a strimmer and a, a blade. Um, but yeah, I've never tried a, a tri blade before, so I've got no idea what they're like. But uh, I just couldn't be bothered to put the um, SGS one on. I just wanted to get this on, 10 pounds off Amazon. I've seen a couple of other videos and people rate them quite highly. So, yeah, um, it's, I would say at this point, it's a bit blunt, but that doesn't really affect its performance on this high powered strimmer. Uh, maybe if you're using a, a smaller CC strimmer, it maybe would affect it. Um, I wouldn't mind trying it on an electric Ryobi or something like that, but I think it just break the um, strimmer, I'm not sure. But 
yeah so we're just like having a go at it cracking on getting it getting it all done um, it, it does chuck out an amazing amount of material though um, it is pretty outstanding stuff and uh, yeah it's it's just a beast an absolute beast I would get one of these blades I mean for 10 quid even if you, it, it doesn't work or whatever you know just send it back but you won't be you'll be it just stay on your strimmer and that'd be it like this one um, I probably to be honest won't be using it to go round again I want to keep these brambles under control and ultimately just be going over with the um, mower to kind of like cut them um, I don't really want to be strimming this paddock all the time so yeah it's sort of like reclaiming it really and uh, yeah it's uh, it's a, a nice nice job to do it is quite satisfying when you look back and you see how much you've actually progressed and done um, but yeah and the, the, the strimmer the SGS strimmer I think I paid around £100 for it and it's like it's faultless there's nothing it's really well built um, there's quite a bit of detail in it there's like the strimming head's got a grease nipple so you can grease the gearbox end down there uh, getting the blade getting the strimmer line um, reared off was really simple and then putting this blade on again was pretty simple stuff and um, yeah I you know hangs up in the garage when I need it pull it out use it I kind of tend to just run it uh, down on fuel in fact to run it so it's like empty uh, I'm trying to sort of think of a way without using as it Aspen the um, kind of special mix fuel I just don't want to sort of leave it for a long period of time put a load of fuel in and then it's all like the uh, ethanol's killed the carb or like just ruined it so yeah i run it till it's empty and then that's it so yeah i hope you like watching this video uh don't forget to rate subscribe i've got loads of other videos going there's different stuff uh, i'm trying to think what's coming up next actually uh, i think there is a review of an 18 volt bosch chainsaw uh something that i've bought and I bought it the body only because I've got two drill batteries and I just need to do some like real small amount of kind of like tiny trees just removing them so I didn't want to go full bore chainsaw so uh, yeah I'll be reviewing those so uh, keep an eye out for that video anyway thanks for watching don't forget to rate subscribe and I'll see you on another video take care bye